Hey guys, welcome back. We're out in the greenhouse again. And the thing that I've been most struggling with lately is the floor. And I was really excited about what I'd come up with in the brick. But we got a little issue with that. I'm not gonna have enough. I'm gonna probably be able to cover about 70, 75% of the floor based on the amount of bricks I was able to find. So I could find more bricks. I could come up with some other creative solution with, you know, some gravel or, you know, whatever. Let me show you what we've done so far. Now, obviously that's not finished, but it's actually really, really stable. And I've just been sweeping sand and, you know, putting water on it to wash it down in and pack it in. And that also helps me level out the floor a little bit. What are you doing down there? <laughs> I'm collecting rocks in the sand. Why are you at home today? Because I'm sick. Yep, yeah, we playing a uh, hooky from school because we've been running fever probably the flu but you're getting better right yeah as far as the floor goes obviously we're gonna continue working on bricks but that's not enough so what we're gonna do is put in another raised bed in the greenhouse i don't know exactly how i'm gonna use it yet whether i'm gonna just do like maybe seed starting in it it's an option uh or what I'll likely do is put something like strawberries in it and overwinter them. But yeah, strawberries. Oh, I do too. That's why we're growing them. There's no growing yet. It's too cold out here, but they'll be up soon. Anyways, we're going to work on putting that together today. And what that's going to do is actually take up space in our floor. So we'll need less bricks. This is one of the Vigo six in one raised beds, which I already have two of, and I've been very happy with these. And just so happens that this is going to be the just the right size to go in that corner. This door is yeah, you have to go through the garage door, baby. I don't have the keys to get in that door, Eden. So I'm sorry. You'll have to go through the garage. Since I've already done a, a build video on these, I'm not going to do another one. But I am going to uh, show you guys what this looks like in there and show you the prep that I'm going to do. Partially because, like I said, this is a sort of a pivot, right? I'm trying to be uh, somewhat frugal as I can be with building the greenhouse, uh, which is one of the primary reasons I didn't just go and stick build one uh, and buy all the panels separately. And partially also because my construction skills are, you know, they're okay. Uh, but these, these don't take construction skills. If you can put a few uh, nuts and bolts together, you can get you some really nice raised beds and, and I've been very happy with these. As I said, these are the uh, six in one and uh, there are several different configurations. The one that I put in here is gonna be a little different than these. It's gonna be a little longer, but narrower. Um, and of course, I consider doing one of the 32 inch beds because it'd be taller but they're quite a bit more expensive so i decided to stick with these 17 inch beds which out here i've been happy with i don't see any reason why it wouldn't work in there we finally got all that plastic off right eden yeah next step is putting a lot of nut and bolts in so we're going to start working on that Eden and I got it partially assembled and we're gonna see if it fits in the greenhouse. Sound like a plan? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do that. I 
that's gonna work. All right, so we got it half assembled. It's not tight yet, but this is where it's gonna go. Can and, I it? Well, after we get the rest of it in there, we gotta make sure it all fits before we make it tighter. Okay. But we wanna make sure we had enough room, and I think we have enough room, what do you think? Think there's enough room for it? Yeah, I think. All right. Well, let's go put the rest of it together and then we'll bring it in here and finish it. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Let's go do that. I'm growing Edens in my flower bed. <laughs> she was not impressed. <laughs> She's helping me tighten down all the bolts. And uh, then we'll get it leveled out. And uh, this is going to be great. I don't know if it takes up enough space to not need all the bricks, but it's a start. So I've got a few more to add, and she's going to help me tighten them, and then we'll uh, see where we're at. Dad, do you think I need to do all of these? Yeah, we got to do all of them. But do I have to do all of them? No, I'm going to help you. stop and take a little bit of a break because everybody got home and I lost a helper but I might have gained another one we'll see if Noah wants to come help or not but in the meantime we're gonna keep tightening down on this thing get all everything snugged up once we're done getting everything tightened up I'll put the little rubber ring around the top to protect it and yeah then I'll make sure it's all good and level my intention for this is to fill it up just like I did the other beds which is probably put some you know logs and stuff smaller limbs and things in the bottom uh, and then I'll put honestly I'll probably put quite a bit of what I dug out of the greenhouse back in there just because I don't have a, another place to put it and even though it's a lot of clay at this point it's gonna have quite a bit of sand mixed in uh, and then I'll get a good topsoil or you know some sort of uh, potting soil or something to kind of mix in in the very top couple maybe two feet uh, and then yeah We'll see what we decide to plant in there. I mean, we may not plant anything this year, or I'm, I don't know, I might transplant my strawberries. Like I said, I'm not really sure, but. Officially running out of daylight for this one but we got the bed built I don't know why I didn't think sooner about going and get my impact which I used last time to put it together but it only cut off a few I'm minutes these. what buddy I'm packing these. what is that this is an egg and a trunk trash oh oh those are rotten buddy <laughs> <laughs> Noah found uh, unbroken eggs that we decided not to eat in the compost pile. <laughs> he is curb stomping old nasty eggs. <laughs> oh, Kia's gonna kill me when she sees that mess. Oh no, I found a dinosaur bone. I found a dinosaur bone. Yeah, buddy, that's an old chicken bone. Throw that back in there and leave it. Stop digging through there. Yeah, leave that stuff alone. Why did it, why did buddy, this, this is old yucky stuff. Leave it alone. No, get out of there. That is a black food thing. It is. That's old oral food. That stuff is yucky. Don't touch it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I cracked the egg with my with my with my hand, and it and and the stuff in it got in my hand. Uh, you, it off. you I might. Wiped it off, Daddy. Okay. I think. <laughs> oh, anyways, I guess we're uh, 
we're about done for today. I'm gonna get this kind of pushed over and I'll work on getting it leveled out and I'll toss some, you know, sticks and stuff in there. And like I said, I'll probably throw a bunch of the clay and sand in it too, just to kind of help fill up the bottom a little bit. The, the clay's got a lot of, you know, nutri nutrients in it, but it should get so compacted. So I don't want to put too much in there and it not drain. And But with it being in here and in controlled, I think I can kind of deal with that a little easier. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed kind of a short video, just kind of getting a few things done. And sometimes that's just how it goes. You guys have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Thanks.